why don't you introduce yourself to the people in terms of the name that you go by typically in Nairobi? Um, I'm a Nairobi based optician by the name I'm Deno. Deno. Uh, Deno Ras. I own a salon which is called Kisiwani Salon. Kisiwani. Yeah, it's called Kisiwani Salon. Yeah. Just in Nairobi CBD. Right, right. Kisiwani means what? Kisiwani means island. Means? Island. Oh, island. It's an island. Oh, yeah. Is it an island in Kenya? No, 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 no. no. Basically, oh, it's, a, it's a Swahili word. word for island. Meaning island. So why did you choose that name for your salon? Uh, it's an island of poems. Yo. Yeah. But uh, a funny thing, I'm not the one who came up with Okay, name. okay. Uh, I was just constructing the salon and a friend uh, with, you know, Provo. Yeah. 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 Provo and Mula. Yeah. Now we were with Mula. And we told Mula, come up with a name, we didn't swear anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Mula came up with like, that name, <laughs> we should kiss Kisiwani. Kisiwani. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. of the colors, we wanted the colorings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, Not close to me. Okay, no, for sure. Um, man, I, I, I was uh, observing the way that you were treating, <laughs> handling, um, administering, I want to call it a service for the hair. You know, a car yeah. can go into a garage mm -hmm. and they do some service on the engine to get it back running. Mm -hmm. When I was looking at the way that you approached, there was a method, mm -hmm. there was a standard that you used, there was an approach that you used, which means that if somebody, when I was looking at you, clearly somebody who understands something about African hair in an intimate way. So I was just curious, you know, uh, what are some of the mistakes or what are some of the misconceptions around how to handle African hair that you've come across? What are the mistakes that people make in their routines of looking after the hair? What are the mistakes that they've believed mm. about their hair, which is maybe incorrect from your observation? One of the biggest mistakes is use of chemicals in the hair. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I use a lot of chemicals. You just want to transform to a different person. Mm. Yeah. So you're not being yourself. Yeah, yeah. You want to transform to this person. The version you think is the best version. Yeah. Yeah. While your version is the way your natural hair is. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that's the true you. That's the true you. So yeah. the misconception is the version you want is the best version, is the greater version. Mm. While us, the true you is the better version. Yeah, the yeah. true you is the better one. Yeah, so. mm. And, 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 and the, the mistake, the reason, okay, so chemicals can be straighteners, straighteners, texturizers, even texturizers? Texturizers, yeah. yeah. You want your hair to become softer. Mm. It's yeah. not meant to be soft. It's not meant to be softer. No. <laughs> why should it be softer? Sure. Why, why? Because you, you saw someone with a soft hair, so you want it to be like that. Yo, bro. Yeah. That's black, quite blue. That's black, cool. black hair has a lot of just for C, for C, for yeah. yeah. Everyone with his own time. As yeah. an optician, we know how to treat each kind of hair. Right. Yeah. Because right. everyone is, even in Africa, yeah. in Africa, in different places, if you go to Ethiopia, yes. my hair is different from the Ethiopians. Yes. Yes. There is a bit soft, softer, yeah. straighter. Mm. Yeah. But it's still, yeah. 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 And it also, the reason why it's softer and straighter is also because of, let's call it, a result of genetics it's which has been genetic. modified over time, right? Because of yeah, maybe intermarriage, intermarriage with possibly other, we don't know, but I mean, it's definitely, there's a reason why it's like that. Yeah. We shouldn't, if your hair is not naturally straight, don't, don't hit don't yourself, it's, yeah. a, it's, it's about age. Yeah. You don't hit yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You've embraced that this is my hair. Yeah. It's not bad, there's nothing wrong with it. What, what they call bad hair is the best hair with locks. Mm. Yeah. Those you, you consider with good hair, when they want to come to and have locks, they just admire them, what you call bad hair. Mm. They wish they had. They wish they had. Yeah, yeah, they wish they, they had. And here you find that you have been gold in your hair. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, that's Imagine good. that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of our greatest gifts. It's like one of this thing. You know, I was watching something the other day and uh, the person was explaining that African hair is the only hair type that if you go underwater and you come out of the water, your hair still stands up. Yeah. Most people's hair, meaning other races, 
it goes flat or it starts, you know, but in most instances, if you've got an afro and you go in, uh, it's, water, you know, it's still, yeah. <laughs> what happens, it only shrinks a bit. Yeah, but it's just a bit. It's tasty. Yeah. yeah. They were saying there's no other hair like that in the yeah. world. No other people have got a hair yeah. that has got that level of strength. Yeah, yeah. For, for us, we, we, this is the hair we love. Yeah. What they call the bad hair. The bad hair. The best hair. You've, you've, you've mastered the ability to look after, to nurture this. Yeah, we, we are trying to, to get out that misconception of the bad. This comes from, uh, from the way back yeah. during our older parents. Yeah. Uh, like here, even getting locks is a problem. <laughs> yeah. So there's yeah. very few people. It's a problem because it's a, you, you do you get work. Right, yeah. right. Companies. Perception again. Perception. Yeah, yeah the perception. And uh, from, uh, from uh, our parents, yeah, the, from the time they come, because uh, during colonization, they want to look like the master. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, what they were taught. It's so strange though, you know, I really feel terrible at the fact that the world has made a judgment on something that is absolutely normal and absolutely natural for us, you know. Let's talk about the locking process. Uh, is the locking process, does it need to follow a specific method to lock it? Is there a right way and a wrong way to do it? I mean, I'm, I'm now curious because, for instance, some people choose to make it very thin. Yeah. Right? It's almost, it almost looks like braids from afar. Yeah. Some people have got a specific thickness, which is maybe the size of my finger, and then some people go, Pombo, Pombo Dread, as you call it. Like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of me. <laughs> yeah, so, so, I mean, what's the practice uh, between those and, and, and is there a specific yeah. approach? To yeah. When we want to start blocks, there are different kinds of ways to start blocks. <laughs> The one which is called Comcoy. Comcoy is the most common one. Comcoy. Comcoy. It's just a comb. Just a comb. Just a comb. Comcoy. Yeah, you use a comb. Use a comb. And you use some oil, gel, locking gel. Yeah. There's one metal. There's a. They look monitor. There's another one which is called interlocking. You just interlock your hair. There's a tool we use, which is a crochet to interlock it. Yeah, there's a that method which I do mostly is called crochet. We have a crochet, like a crochet needle. Like a weave, yeah. I mean, like you are weaving, you are weaving, you are weaving. As if you are weaving a basket. Yeah, you are weaving a basket. There's even a method which is called a basket method. Just your hair, which is very good for this. Which when you use this method for the crochet, you don't use any product, yeah, no product at all, just the skin, it's just a skin. So you I, you can make whatever you want, like instantly. If you have hair right now, yeah. we could give you locks right yeah, now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Instantly. 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 <laughs> uh, I, definitely, I, I had them at one point. Bro. Yeah, so good. Basically those are the three methods. Uh, so now, here's the thing which uh, I've also observed which uh, becomes challenging for those who choose the path of embracing their hair. Uh, maintenance seems to be an issue. Yeah. And also, it seems as if, I, I, I don't know, perhaps you can tell me, is there a nutrition, is there a type of diet mm. that is required to retain mm. healthy locks? Is it based on natural oils occurring from the body? Is it based on what you eat? Is it based on what you put on your hair? You know, what when happens you, when people start losing hair? Losing hair, or it changes color? I don't know. I mean, hair. Yeah, one thing, if you are locked, tissue, you know this. I don't most don't know this, but hair, your hair and skin is what shows a lot about you. Yeah. If you don't love yourself, you will know. Based on your skin and your hair. Yes. Oh. Wait, wait, so it's the first indicator of how much you love yourself how, or how you healthy you are. How healthy you yeah. are. How healthy you are. Or what's going on in your life. Your life. Yeah. You're, you're, you're. Yeah. Because like when I just see you, some people are not meant to be to be like shit. You have shit in here. Yeah. It's not normal. Today you have shit in here, tomorrow you don't have. So it starts from inner you. Some of the solution. Don't come and give you like 
use cast oil, use coconut oil. Mm -hmm. I have to see your hair. Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? The reflection of your emotion, the reflection of your yeah. mental health, the reflection of your health. Are you, uh, are you depressed? Yeah. yeah. Are you on medication? Yeah. Are you stressed? Yeah. Stress is the number one philosophy. What? Stress. Yeah. Are you stressed from what? Yeah. So it, it, it goes all along from what? Yeah. From home. Are you stressed from home? Are you stressed from the family? <laughs> you are here can stress you up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're losing hair, uh, maybe when you want to do this and do this in your hair, when you stop loving your hair, you get stressed. So you start losing that hair again. Yeah. No, bro, this is my Stress is the number one. Uh, loss of hair. Stress is the number one. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing. Stress. Your, your locks become thinner. Yeah. A lot of people are asking me, oh, where are my locks becoming thinner? Number one is, are you stressed? Are you on medication? Yes. Yeah. Something wrong with Are you medication. using drugs? They probably are using uh, yeah. Too much drugs, use of drugs, use of drugs, use of drugs yeah. uh, substance abuse. Substance abuse. Uh, Keep a healthy life. Where you have a healthy life, you are here and your skin will be number one. Yeah. Mind blowing. Yeah. Your scalp. Because we live mostly with the scalp. After this one, I've had locks for 12 years. Mm -hmm. But it's just from the roots. If your roots are bad, you don't have to grow. You would have to keep along the lines. Because you'll be shedding here. Mm. Yeah. So you have to check on your life. Yeah. Sometimes it can more like spiritual things. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean it's actually my bro. I'm, I'm so yeah. shocked because we sometimes mm. you know, you know, uh, the, when you go to the doctor, mm. uh, some doctors will only treat the symptoms. So meaning they give you you get a headache, they give you medication. Painkillers. It's external. You are treating an external manifestation of something which its origins are internal. Huh? You should be asking, instead of giving pain medication, in this case instead of just putting more coconut oil or whatever, the question should be, what is your input? What is your internal situation going on? What is the cause of the loss? It's not external, just application of cream. It's, you know. Yeah, and then there's a misconception that they say people with locks are that. We yeah, are that. Yeah. yeah. You have to keep pushing your hair. Yes. Yeah. There's a misconception which I hate. Yeah. Oh, people with locks are that. They don't wash your hair. Mm. No. We wash your hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's, it's a routine. Yeah. It's cleanliness. People with locks are the most patient people. Mm. Yeah, it takes them. long from one day to ten years. You have to be patient. You have to be patient to yeah. grow for yeah. consistent. Consistent. Without routine. Without routine. Yeah. Man. This is my blowing, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, bro, I, I've really enjoyed this, man. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just the external factors. Uh, there's a discovery of the fact that it's not just external creams that keeps your hair clean. Uh, there seems to be much more that goes on in terms of keeping a healthy head of hair. Healthy head of hair. Uh, healthy, head of hair. healthy life. Healthy, healthy life. Living. It starts with healthy living. My man, thank you for spending this time, bro. It's been such an enlightening conversation. Something as simple as hair. Thank you for having me. It can be mind opening. Uh, um, so, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that content. Kiss you one. Next time Kiss you are in Kenya, Kenya. Kenya. Ne next time you're in Kenya, next time you're in Nairobi, check it out on Instagram. Yeah, oh, you can even check it on Instagram. Kiss you one is an island, and you're going to meet my good man, the loctician, and he'll give you a good treatment with your hair. As always, I'm Landmark. And I'm out. Salute.